Hey guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to do face detection using OpenCV. So face detection is pretty simple. You just need to detect a face. So for this, we need uh, some prerequisites. That is, uh, we need to install this OpenCV module. So to install this module, you just need to do pip install OpenCV Python. So using this command, you can able to install this particular module. Apart from that, you have to uh, download a hard cascade uh, file that is an XML file, uh, which has all the attributes of the faces. Using that only, we are going to detect the faces. So it, it is pretty much easy because we are going to use some 10 to 15 lines of code to detect the faces. Okay, let's do it now. First, let's import the important modules. So import modules. So import CV2. So this is the open CV that I have uh, talked before. So the module name is called uh, CV2. And after this, I'm going to import matplotlib. Okay, that is from matplotlib dot pyplot import plot you can also uh, see the image using uh, opencv itself i'm going to plot it in using matplot because uh, in jupyter notebook it performs very much better so we have to do that matplotlib inline matplotlib inline okay i think uh, these modules are enough Let's run this. Okay, this will be import matplotlib.pyplot as plot. Let's run this. Now it's running. I uh, hear you have to mention uh, a cascade uh, file that is har cascade. So let's do it now. Let's call it as cascade file. Cascade file equals cv2 dot cascade classifier here you have to mention the path of the xml that is har cascade frontal face default so i will be giving this link in the description you can able to download this file you have uh, many xml files there you can also detect some eyes or uh, different faces you can able to do it using this xml so in the github repo there will be having so many xml files if you are confused with that means just find this default file and uh, download it i will be also uploading this uh, notebook into my github repo you can also download it from there so i will just mark it as har cascade file path okay after this we will load the image load the image let's leave some cells now image equals cv2 dot im read we have to give the image path. I'm using some uh, test image. You can able to download any image from the internet or you can able to use your image also. It doesn't matter. It should have some faces in the image. So that is enough for uh, detection. We are not going to recognize uh, who is that in the face. We are just going to detect the face. Maybe we will do the face recognition in a separate uh, video. So for now, I'm just taking it as a small project. Now we have to convert uh, this color into a grayscale image. Before that, I will just uh, show you what the image look like. Plot dot im show image. Run this. So this is showing the image uh, into some uh, different color because I'm using CV2. This will read the image as uh, BGR, not RGB. 
so if you want to convert it means you can able to convert like image rgb equals cv2 dot okay cv2 dot c vt that is convert color you have to give the image and cv2 dot color there will be so many colors see so color underscore b g r to r g b so this is the thing so i'll just replace this one here now run this now you can able to see the images here we have around uh, five faces you just need to i'm going to just put it uh, some bounding marks here you can also enlarge the image if you want currently it's having around uh, 4000 pixels i think uh, based on the graph uh, we can able to see you can uh, remove these things if you want it doesn't matter we got the image so for now i'm just converting this image into grayscale so for now i'm going to convert the image into grayscale so convert to rgb so that is this now here convert to grayscale image so that will be gray equals again we can able to use the same line okay instead of rgb we will use gray now we will uh, plot the image to see how it look like so we have to understand each step what is happening okay i am just use the same variable now now we have converted the image to grayscale so this is our grayscale image so here i think you have to specify uh, some parameters in order to display it on uh, grayscale so that will be cmap equals and gray now run it now we have got the grayscale image so using this only we are going to do our uh, processing so we have got our image now we will detect the faces detect faces so we will leave some space now we will detect the faces using a face cascade so we already have this uh, cascade file okay we didn't run it maybe we will just uh, change the name as face cascade so it will be easy for us to remember so as you can able to see it's throwing me an error because uh, i don't know maybe uh, cv2 just change some of their formats i have checked this error and uh, they have proposed a solution like adding this uh, line so let's run it now now it's working properly so i think uh, we have to add this line before uh, when i was using like two years before uh, we just need to send the path i think uh, they have updated the open cv module so now we have our face cascade let's create it now now faces equals so face cascade dot detect multi scale now here we have to give the parameters now first the gray scale image that is gray scale factor so this will deals with a uh, different uh, uh, size of faces so sometimes if it's uh, if the face is so much near to the image or uh, so much smaller means it will uh, adjust this factor so scale factor will be 1.1 and minimum neighbors so that will be i'll just say 4 so based on like uh, how many faces can be near uh, to a single face 
so like that you can able to set just set it as four minimum size equals we have to set some width and height so that will be 30 by 30 these are the basic parameters you can able to give it so these two are must so maybe let's run it now so it's detecting the faces now len of faces we are seeing 11 that's uh, pretty much higher I don't know which things uh, have been detected in the faces maybe we have to fine-tune this let's display the faces so display the faces in the image so that will be for x comma y comma width and height in faces but this length should be 5 let's see what's happened so cv2 dot rectangle and the original image uh, we will use so after giving the image we have to give x and y axis now after this this is like the start point of the rectangle and now for the end point x plus w comma y plus h so this will be the end point it will draw the rectangle and after that we have to give the color so we will be giving green color so this is r g b <laughs> these are the pixel values and finally the thickness of the line so I'll mark it as 2. Uh, after doing this, cv2.im show. So this will uh, open a new window and image. Before that, we have to give the title faces. and cv2 dot wait key so if some key has been pressed it will close the window okay let's run this I think it's opened so this is the one i think this is like a very much bigger picture I can't able to see because it's like a so so much bigger picture just close this so for this we will just resize the image so cv2 dot maybe before that itself we will just resize the image image equals cv2 dot resize image comma I'll just uh, go for some image so 1280 I think this is like a vertical image um, so I'll go for 1000 cross 1000 itself let's see if it works yes it's working but uh, it's showing uh, like multiple uh, boxes so we have to change that so uh, we will reduce this also 500 and 600 that will be good so I have just changed the image size into a smaller one so we can able to see it in the screen so I just use this resolution because uh, this is like a 4k image I just converted into a smaller one so after this I have converted to grayscale and for this uh, detect multi-scale I'm just using a uh, default parameters so apart from that you can able to change the parameters based on the images you are using so I'm just going with the default one so I just removed everything so run it again run this again so we have detected five faces but in actually uh, it's not showing all the five 
as you can able to see uh, it uh, it can able to detect uh, four faces and uh, for one face it didn't uh, detect properly so this face is uh, missing for us we can able to test it out with uh, different uh, test images that you can able to find and use it whether it is working properly or not uh, because uh, this is like a uh, normal simple uh, image processing so we are not doing any special uh, thing here so here we are not doing any anything special so because of the basic uh, machine learning thing uh, we can able to detect at least a uh, few faces here we just left out only one face maybe in uh, other images it can able to find all the faces or else here there are multiple parameters uh, are there so you can able to change the parameters uh, for the corresponding image and able to detect the faces properly it depends on the image resolution and the faces size uh, in the images if you are going for some cctv cameras means you have to change the parameters accordingly so that's it guys this is the basic uh, face detection we can able to do using the images you can also get the live feed uh, using some webcam and you can able to capture your uh, video or detect real time images using the same method you just need to get the frame and convert it into grayscale and do the processing and put the bounding box and display it in a window like that you have to do the similar process inside uh, some function and you can able to use a loop and uh, do it continuously if you have any other methods apart from this means uh, please leave a comment below it will be very helpful for the community in the future video we will be using some advanced module so it it is uh, more than this normal xml file so currently we are just using this xml file to detect the faces so in those uh, thing we have the whole uh, detailed information of the faces it can able to recognize uh, very much well and instead of detection we are also going to do re recognition of that particular face so we will do that in our future videos and that's it guys if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos See you guys in the next video.